Hey there. I just, uh, I wanted to say thank you for stopping by and checking out the Comp Effect podcast. My name is Todd Tams, and I am super, super excited to share what I have learned in this industry in the last 20 years with businesses and HR professionals and insurance agents and anybody else who wants to listen about why the workers' compensation policy is not only the most important policy in your insurance package, but by focusing on workers' compensation, you can actually change the way that your business not only purchases insurance, but also handles claims, deals with employees. By putting the workers' compensation policy first and foremost, I think you're going to have a better company. And I tell you, the reason I started this podcast is I don't want to say that maybe I'm I'm sick and tired or I'm upset with the way that the industry has gone. Because um, I, I am to some extent, but the reality is I want to, I really want to change the way that workers' compensation insurance is perceived. And I think as an insurance agent, as a human being, we owe it to businesses to be better in our delivery of the workers' compensation policy. And we really need to change the conversation. So many times, so many times in my career, when we talk about work comp or we give a quote, it is always about the lowest price. It is about payroll, times a rate, times a mod, times the fact that everybody hates paying for workers' compensation insurance. And it seems as though nobody's really happy with the claims process either. And I think there's an opportunity in this industry to change the dynamic, change the way that that policy is viewed and really make this industry better. And I'll tell you why. Things that I don't think that businesses even know about all of the options that are available out there when it comes to how a workers' compensation policy is sold. Some carriers out there have nurse triage, some don't. Some have partnered with awesome return to work program vendors while some try to manage it themselves. Some overcharge, some don't even care about necessarily how your business operates when they throw out a rate. And when we talk to carriers about maybe providing a quote for your business, they're asking us a few basic questions and the questions that they ask us has nothing to do with your actual business. They don't ask us about pride of ownership. They don't ask us about employee turnover. They don't ask us about company culture. They don't ask us about what your business plans are when they have a workers' compensation claim. They don't ask us any of those things. And I believe, I believe with all my heart that if you take a minute to really think about your employees and how they want to be treated at claim time, I think that there might be a huge shift in this industry. In my years of experience, I've seen a great employee turn into a bad employee the day after they fire or the day after they file a worker's compensation claim. I've seen the injured worker who feels as though when they slipped and fell in the parking lot, that suddenly they were blackballed because they filed a claim. And meanwhile, their income is down, they're struggling with constant pain, they're not working, and they feel as though they're useless as a human being. And this isn't the claims experience that I want for anybody, not one of my clients, not the industry, not the injured worker. And that's why we're gonna talk about the comp effect. We're gonna talk about things that your business can do to make that injured worker's worst day one of the reasons that maybe they love your company and love coming back to work. Maybe we'll change that value proposition so that that injured worker becomes your company's biggest fan because in their moment of need, how you took care of them from the beginning to the end, from the nurse triage, to the designated physician, to the overall culture, to the claims experience, to maybe you brought them groceries because they couldn't get out of the house. 
Those are types of things that, that nobody's doing. All of this, all of this, while it's going to help your company save money. And when you save money, you flow more money through to the bottom line. You can reinvest that money. You can hire more people. Your business will grow and thrive. You're going to have more cash. When you invest in this, those things will become secondary because you're going to have this great thriving business. And that thriving business, obviously it's a primary part of your company and maybe it's an off uh, offshoot of focusing on workers' compensation and the workers' compensation experience. But that's what this podcast is all about. We owe it to be better. We owe it to change the conversation. We owe it to educate. And the conversation shouldn't be just about payroll and price. It should be about how do we create a better experience from beginning to end, from the purchase to the claim to the audit. That's the comp effect. Thank you for listening. I look forward to providing as much valuable education and insight as I possibly can. And I would always encourage every one of you, if you have a question, you have a topic, you have something you want to talk about, please reach out. If you've got the question, somebody else has the question too, and I'm all in. Let's change an industry and change the world together. Thank you.